Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to add face cams to your videos using OBS, which is basically open broadcaster software. So before we get started, I just want to say be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're already, because I am on my way to 14,000 subscribers and all hope is appreciated. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. So if you open up the description below, you're actually going to see a link to obsproject.com. This is basically where you can download OBS. For the tutorial purposes, I'm just going to be using OBS Classic, but if you have a Mac or a Linux operating system, you can go ahead and download OBS Studio. It's really just personal preference, whichever you prefer. Alright guys, so once you actually have it installed and downloaded, all you have to do is just go ahead and open it up, and you should be greeted with a UI or like a user interface, sort of like this one right here. And chances are you're not going to have a scene like I already do, so I'm just going to quickly go ahead and remove mine. And uh, so it should be a pretty empty kind of user interface. I'm going to teach you guys how to go through it, add your webcam, add your game cam, capture at your monitor and all that good stuff the first thing that you're going to want to do is right click in the scenes uh, like box and click add scene and this is where you would name it so let's say for example I would only want to use this uh, scene if I was streaming so I'm gonna name it stream once I've named it all I have to do is just click on ok and now you're done with that part the next thing that you want to do is actually add sources so this would be a source for your webcam your audio capture your images and all that good stuff so what you want to do is just go ahead and right click on the white box again Hover over add, and from here we're just going to go to monitor capture. And this is essentially just going to record your actual, whatever's on your screen at that current moment. If you have multiple monitors, you can actually record whichever one you want to. I'm just going to be recording my main monitor. And once you actually do that, all you have to do is click on preview stream, and you should see whatever's on your monitor at that time. So as you can see, uh, say I was streaming this, all my viewers would be actually be able to see whatever I'm seeing right now on my screen. Alright guys, so I'm going to quickly stop the preview and actually do what this video is about, which is actually adding a face cam. So what you want to do is go back to add and add a video capture device. So right here you can actually name it whatever you want, so I'm going to name it webcam. Alright guys, so once you actually do name it whatever you want to name it, you don't even have to change the name if you don't want to, all you have to do is click on OK, and from here you're actually able to mess with the settings a bit. So for my webcam device, I'm actually going to pick on my webcam, chances are yours is already going to be there, and if it's not, just go ahead and click on refresh, and then click on your webcam. Once you've done that, you can actually mess with the custom resolution a bit by changing it to either 720p, 1080p, 360p, 480p, whatever you want to. Since my webcam can record in 1080p, I'm actually going to leave it there. So uh, 1080p it is. Another cool thing that you guys can actually do in this like settings menu is actually change the frames per second for your webcam. My webcam can only record in 30 FPS, so I'm going to leave it like that. But say you use like a professional like Sony camera or some DSLR to record your videos for webcam, you can actually change it to 60 FPS if it can actually record in that. But since I'm using a webcam, I'm just going to leave it at 30 at 1080p. You can also mess with your audio settings a bit if you really want to. I'm just going to disable mine because I don't really like using the audio from my webcam. And once you're done with that, just go ahead and click on OK. And now when I click on preview stream, you're going to see a big like picture of my face. And as you guys can see, there I am. So what you would actually do right now is click on edit scene and actually just drag your webcam down and then just move it around wherever you'd want. So I'm actually going to get out of that and just be able to see what I actually want to do. So I think it would be pretty good right up there, maybe a bit bigger. And you can click on the edit scene one more time and then it will go away. But this is basically how you would add a webcam to your videos. And now let's say you want to add an overlay or something like maybe a rectangle or something that has all your sponsors or something like that. All you would have to do is just right click on the image uh, or the white box again. Click on add and then go to image. From here you can name it whatever you want, so I'm just going to name it overlay. And uh, once you actually name it, all you have to do is just click on OK. And then from here you can actually browse for the image, so I'm just going to quickly go and look for my rectangle overlay, which is basically just an overlay for my webcam. And uh, once I actually find it, all I have to do is click on OK. And as you can see, a little black rectangle has appeared in the top right corner. So as you can see, my video doesn't actually fit the rectangle, so what you would do is make sure you're clicked on your webcam source, click on edit scene, and then you can just drag it until it does fit the scene. If you guys want me to make a tutorial on how to actually make a webcam overlay or something like that, which you could include your sponsors on, or maybe just a blank overlay like mine is right now, be sure to let me know in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to do that. But from here, all you just have to do is stop the preview, either start streaming, and it will go to your Twitch uh, service, which I have actually made a tutorial on how to actually stream to Twitch using OBS. Or you can click on Start Recording, and it will just start recording locally, and you'd get a file on your computer. And to see where that file actually gets saved, you would just go to Settings, then you'd go to broadcast settings and then you'd actually see the file path so you just go to browse and you can change it to wherever you want i'm fine with wherever it goes and i just have it as mp4 definitely change it to mp4 don't do flv that's really going to screw everything up for you but that's really it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed be sure to hit that like button share this video with your friends and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're already because i am on my way to 14,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated but that's really it for the video guys and i'll see you guys in my next one peace